Who is he? Chegoreis Buali Sana. Oh, the one who has to pay the 7,000 dinars? I don't know. My mission was to bring him here. That's all I was told. That is the order I was given. Dismount. <sighs> Look up into the sky. Look into the sky. It's getting lighter. It's getting lighter. The sky is becoming bright. The sky has become bright. Look, look, look up in the sky. Look at that. I do not appear. The sky suddenly became bright. Perhaps it was your destiny to spend a night in Afshane.
the prophet, the imam, the executor, the proof, the cause, the missionary, and the initiate. Son, they've come to see you. Tell them to go and come back later. Now I'm playing. Come on, let us get out of here. Let's go back. Federe, your mother will make a sign to us out of the same. May God will it so. I'll make a great merchant out of you. Where are we going, Uncle? To meet our destiny. Aren't you going to miss your parents? I'll miss them, and Hussein as well. Don't worry, your uncle is with you. you and why have you come here? I'm Mahmoud Ibn Sina, and I've come to release Sheikh Oraiz. No one can release him except Sultan Mahmoud, who has to send us 7,000 dinars. These beasts of burden are carrying gold coins. 7,000 gold coins. Are you the Sultan's envoys? We are merchants from the Hamadan Bazaar. Gold coins. We also have a letter from the Crown Prince. The letter was not required. Whoever gives 7,000 dinars can take the Hakim with him where he goes. Count the coins. I never understood why he was worth 7,000 dinars. I'm not going to pay even seven dirhams for him. We cannot understand what he says. It seems he doesn't mind being in prison. I think he's a lunatic. He prays and writes all day long. He read a story called Hayi bin Yagzan. It was absolute nonsense. He's not healthy, neither mentally nor physically. The so-called Hakim cannot even treat his own colleague. I can understand if you feel cheated. You can back out of the deal if you like. We're not cheated. I said what I thought I should say. Now do as you wish. One of you come with me to get the Hakim.
that way. Go down. Well. Hakim, they've come to take you. What day is today? Jabal 14, 426. I can't believe Sultan Masood's envoys have come here. Have they brought the money? No, they haven't brought the money. Huh. I knew they wouldn't pay that much money for one old man. I've come. Masood, he is very stingy. Just like his father. <laughs> Brother. I've come to release you, brother, if God helps me. God helped you find me, brother. Oh, but I'm afraid I cannot come with you. You have to pay 7,000 dinars. Can't come and sit here. I've paid the money for you. Huh? What? Seven thousand yes. dinars. Huh. How could you afford it? I'm sure it must have been very hard to scrape it all together. Seriously, you paid that much money. They would have released me eventually when they lost hope of someone paying for me. <laughs> but we'd have had to wait. Many years for them to do that. People in Habadan helped me get the money together, but it took me a long time. Now let's go. They may change their minds again. Sultan Masood's invoice can come at any minute. <laughs> Not for all the tea in China, I don't believe it. Sultan Masood would never pay 7,000 dinars for me. He promises things, but never delivers, you see. He's just like his father. But the people in Hamadan must do this. I'm not worth 7,000 dinars. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> you know, Mahmoud, being held in detention was a blessing in disguise. I got rid of some sort down there and had the time to write three books. It was very difficult to write them, but the paper you sent me was very helpful. I wrote Hebin Yarzan, The Guidance, and On Colic. I'm just finishing on colic. It'll take me half a day, or perhaps a few days. You can finish writing later. But now we must go. They may change their minds. Sultan Masood's invoice may come in with more money very soon. No, I have to write it now. I'll not survive this illness. I have to finish the book on colic. You are telling me you don't want to walk free? Mahmoud, my brother, I'm free now. Please, just let me finish the book on colic. I've been suffering from this illness for years now. Just let me finish the book. For years, I've wanted to write this book on colic, and now I'm finally finishing it. But if you insist, I'll come. Prison governor, can we stay here for half a day? You caught his lunacy, didn't you? Yes, you can. Oh, now come. Come and sit down.
Hussein, my brother, promise me not to go to Shamsad Dole. Not only him, but also any other lords or kings. <laughs> oh, but you see, now that you paid the money, Shamsad Dole will take the throne again. Promise me to avoid him for the rest of your life. If I survive. Promise me to flee. I promise you. Providing, of course, my destiny also promises to do so. Johnny. Are you sure he's still in Kome San? I'm not sure. I haven't really thought about it, but it's quite probable. If he knew we we're on the throne, he would come to us again, you know. I wish I could make an apology, you see. How far is it to Kome San? We'll get there in an hour. It's not far from Hamadan. Let's go. Joseph Johnny, ask them. Hello there. Hello, hello. Brothers, hello. We're out of towners. Where's Bo Ali's office in Gormesan? Do you know? We, we don't, don't know. know. What's the address? There's just one Hakim called Bo Ali Sina who has an office in Gormesan. Emir Sham Sadole is looking after him. I don't know his name, but there is a Hakim in this village who has an office in the west of Garmisin. Your tongue? Uh... I wish someone would tell me the same thing. <laughs> Emil Shamsadulli, along with his entourage, has come into our village, and they're all looking for you. They think that you are Bo Ali Sina. Did you tell them where we are? They didn't ask any of the children. You'll have to hurry up or they'll find you. They'll be here very soon. Hossein, remember your promise you would keep. 
You promised me you wouldn't return to Shamsad Dole's court. So hurry up. <laughs> If I'm Bu Ali Sina, I have to behave like Bu Ali Sina, you see. I've heard that for Bu Ali, treating his patients has priority over the urge to flee. I, I have been avoiding emirs and sultans all my life. <laughs> but they have sought me out all my life. <laughs> Come here. Are you Bali Sina? Come here. Drink some water. You've been running a long time. Come to the wrong address. No, sir. No, you haven't. Are you Bu Ali Sina? I'm going to be like Bu Ali Sina. Where is the Hakim? Has he gone to see a patient? Yes, to see some patients. Search the whole village. You won't find him in Garmisin. He's gone to Isfahan. We were informed that he is in Gormesan. Some Hakim came to Garmisin and went. I wonder whether he was Bo Ali Sina or not. When he left, he told me that Bo Ali Sina began his education with the Quran and literature and never finished them. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to become just like Bo Ali Sina someday. I know the look of his pen. The Hakim must have been here. It belongs to me now. He gave it to me as a gift. He said that Bo Ali had no special privileges. He was like me, like you. He was like all other people. What is a privilege is the ability to try hard and exercise your ability to learn, like Bo Ali. I can bet you that the Hakim was certainly Bo Ali Sina. I'm going to find him no matter where he is. To Kerman, Isfahan, wherever he goes, I'll follow. You, my son, treasure that precious pen dearly. Do not break my trust, okay? Not because it's Sheikh Orais Bo Ali Sina's pen, but because of what has been written with it. Who knows what it's going to write from now on? I've heard that in his childhood, Bo Ali used to talk back too. Let's go. Emir, please let me go. I have to embark on a very long journey. I have to go after the Akim, please. To Isfahan? To Isfahan, Iraq, Levant. Wherever he goes, I'll go. If you find him, apologize to him on my behalf.
Goodbye. Let's go. Who knows what it's going to write from now on? Yes. But if the Emir wants to live longer, then he has to come to my office personally. And he can come. I'll treat him there. Because I'm leaving. Another rude remark. Mm, how can such a slip of a Hakim escape punishment? He doesn't have a clue, but he's consulted with the Vizier. You should have killed him!
fasten your feet to the horse so you don't fall down. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to fall from the horse. Where are we? In the desert, between Konya and Balkh, between Bukhara and Baghdad, and Ghazni, and Ray, and Isfahan. Long enough to reach the first village. We have spent our lives in the desert. The mountains, we must also. We must also die here. Same, same as me. Now go. Don't, don't watch me. Go, go. Stop watching me. Let's go. Let's go. Look over there. Bu Ali didn't live a long life. It's not a pity, since the width of life is more important than its length. I found you too late. So, be with me more, my brother. Uh, I have. 
have to go. Wandering in this desert all my life, I... I knew just a bit of what... what was going on. There were thousands of suns shining in my heart. But I was in darkness at the end of the day. Mahmoud. Mahmoud. He exists no longer. I'm telling you, Mahmoud, that's not true. Once he existed, and now he doesn't. I tell you that our bodies come from the earth and return to the earth. Our bodies turn into earth. As for our souls, our souls don't come from the earth. So they don't turn back into the earth. So he's alive and at the beginning of his life. Oh. 